What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Straight Edge Show. Back to review Captain Marvel. Yes, start off with the stars. Starring Brie Lawson, Samuel L. Jackson, Ben Middleson, and, du and uh, Jude Law. So let's start off with the story. This is an origin story of Captain Marvel slash Carol Danvers. You, she did to find out about her past. She did to find out she is more powerful than she ever imagined. And she's right in the middle of a war between two alien race. So, what I thought about the movie. This movie has some good, has some bad. Yes, get into it. You start off with the story, folks. The story is definitely a phase one type of, of film. Now, if you like the phase one Marvel films, you really don't enjoy this movie. Me, it's only a couple phase Marvel films I really enjoy. But this movie is very predictable. Uh, very, it starts off very slow. And I, it just didn't grab me like I wanted it to. So me, the story, def definitely, I didn't really enjoy it as much. I think it's a okay, passable story. So yes, did to the stuff I liked. Yes, did to the stuff I liked. And then we don't get to the stuff I, I didn't like. So with the stuff I like, I like Samuel Jackson and Brie Lawson's chemistry. I thought they had a very good chemistry. The action, some is good, some is bad. I did like the action part where she's on the train and you see in the trailers when she hits the old lady. I thought that was a very action set piece. And it's some bad action set pieces, it's some some good ones, some bad ones. Another thing I, I enjoy, who I think stole the show, was the cat. The cat was incredible, man. Actually, I think I enjoyed the cat more I enjoyed the action. <laughs> yeah, the cat was so enjoyable. He was so cute. Oh man, man. That cat was uh the that cat stole the movie for me. That was one of the most memorable things. If somebody asked me, what's the most memorable thing in Captain Marvel? I'm going to say the cat. The cat stole the show. Another standout, Ben Middleson. I thought he was great in the movie. And he has some funny dialogue too. Ben Middleson is another standout of the movie. It was Ben Middleson and the cat. Then was the two standouts of the movie. I enjoyed Ben Middleson. Um, he was the second standout in the movie, and I thought he did a very good performance. Another thing I really enjoyed was Carol and her best friend, Maria, and get to learn about they, they, a friendship that's her best friend, and the scenes they had with each other uh, was very well done, and I very enjoyed them learning about this friendship that they had each other and, and seeing the bond that they did have and seeing the, uh, the memories of these two people. Enjoy that in the movie. Now, yes, to the stuff I did not like. This movie is not very well paced. It takes a while to get this movie to get going and actually get me into the movie. It takes a while, probably about 20 or 25 minutes, and that's when Carol Danvers meets Nick Fury, and that's when I start getting into the, the movie. And that's another problem I have. The movie is not very well paced. It's not a movie I see myself ever watching it again this is a movie i wouldn't don't see myself buying on dvd or blu-ray all 4k blu-ray no nah, i don't see myself watching this uh never again yes it to the biggest problem i had and that is with the star brie lawson carol danvers captain marvel it was what i was fearing about the movie her performance is boring, uninteresting. At moments, it feels like she's not even trying. It's moments, yeah, in the movie, you see her uh, little personality when she's like with Nick Fury and you see a, a, a personality comes out. But when she's by herself and she's had to carry a scene by herself, it ain't there. I don't know what went wrong. Uh, when she was doing this movie, I don't know, maybe it was what, uh, how she was directed. Something ain't right. She just didn't make me interested in this character. Didn't make me want to know more about this character. This, this, she made me not interested in seeing her in Endgame. 
I really don't care what she has to do in Endgame. Is this supposed to make me hot? This movie, was, this movie was supposed to make me hype to see. Man, I can't wait to see Captain Marvel in Endgame. This movie didn't do it. This movie didn't do it. Made me a fan of whole. Want to see a sequel? None of that. I do not want to see a sequel of Captain Marvel. Just based off this movie, I don't. Maybe I, my mind's gonna change when I see you in Endgame. But for right now. I'm not a fan of Captain Marvel. They, she did not, and she did not make me a fan in this movie. That can all change in other movies, but for right now, she did not deliver in this movie. So, I give Captain Marvel a six out of a ten. If you like this review, comment, like, share, and subscribe. I see you in the next Straight Edge Show review. Peace.